people might recognize me from the Portland airport carpet. I've got my helmet and sunglasses right here. Uh, people might recognize me. I did a 55 day hunger strike right outside of City Hall for housing and homelessness issues. I also ran for mayor. I'm a failed mayoral candidate, I'd like to say. When I started the hunger strike, I really thought it was gonna be a tremendous success where I could really push um, visibility and dialogue around Right to Dream 2 to a place where by the time I was finished, um, the, the city would, you know, stop finding Right to Dream 2. And that didn't happen. The biggest mistake with the hunger strike was that I did not consider at all how it would affect me post hunger strike. I did not think about if I go on a hunger strike for 55 days, what's that going to do to my body, to my mind, to my reputation? And I didn't really know what ledge to stand on after it was done. None of my clothes fit me anymore. I dropped like six sizes in less than two months. And it was hard because my body didn't feel like my own. I felt like there was somebody else who did a body swap with me. Some alien came down, put me in some stranger's body. And I remember I'd be buying a pair of clothes, I'd go to the cashier and I'd start breaking down in tears because it was just so hard for me to understand um, what I was in because it just it wasn't me. Um, probably the thing that was most emotionally hard for me was that it was really hurting a lot of people would see me do a hunger strike. You know, a hunger strike isn't ex extremely safe. And I think of like Amanda Fritz who probably it was the hardest for me emotionally to have to see her every day. Um, you know, she's a, a former nurse and she would come through the front door every day at City Hall and I just knew that it was breaking her heart to see me hurt myself in such a way. She tried to promise me all these things, try to help me in any way possible to get me to stop. If I had 20 year old Cameron sitting in front of me at the table right now, probably the first thing that I would say to him was, I love you, you are a, a beautiful person, and you have so much to offer the world. There's gonna be so much out there that's gonna hurt you. There's gonna be so much out there that's dangerous and unsafe, and you haven't gotten through your trial just yet. Um, but you're resilient, you're resourceful, and you have a lot of people who care about you, and so, um, I know that you're going to do what you need to do and I know you're going to make it through and I just appreciate everything that you are, everything that you do and you don't need to be reminded of this but sometimes it is nice to have a reminder but you know never give up.